Hello, I'm Pat Wadham with the Pat Wadham team at Remax First here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I want to talk to you about how to structure an offer to win in a hot market when there are a few homes for sale and many offers on the same house. In your purchase agreement, you have several lines where you can fill things out. Each one of these things can be a trigger sometimes for the seller to take another offer instead of yours. Obviously, the first place that you want to try to win is on the actual offer itself, which would be the sales price. Let's say someone is offering their house for sale at $300,000. The house just came on the market. There's been five showings that day that you've heard about, and you may not even know this, but you have to go in with the highest offer, which is not $300,000. Now in Baton Rouge, that offer could be $310,000 in order to win. It could be $305,000. It's not gonna be three hundred dollars or three hundred and one dollars because all the other agents know to go at least $1,000 over list price to win. So it's the first thing you do. The next thing is that you want to make sure your agent has asked the other agent, by the way, is there a better time for your clients, the sellers to close, if, do they want a short time frame or do they need, you know, maybe 90 days to close? Knowing that, it helps you structure the next part, which is closing date. Now, this is the other thing that people get stuck on. If you really want to win in a hot market, you make your offer not subject to inspections. No inspection period and no appraisal. What does that mean? If the house is worth three hundred dollars and your mortgage uh, lender has the appraisal and it only appraises for three hundred dollars and you've offered three ten, dollars you've got to have an extra $10,000 cash ready to go. And I can tell you, those are the people who win in a hot market with multiple offers. Well, what if you need help with closing costs? Well, in a hot market, you're probably not going to get the house that just came on the market. You need to look for a home that's been on the market for 30, 45, 60 days. Those homes are sitting there for a reason, which means they're probably overpriced a bit if it's a hot market. If they're overpriced a bit, you can make an offer to get the closing costs, hoping that it appraises for it. If you have any questions about how to make a really good offer to win in a hot market, the Pat Wadham team knows how to structure these offers. We've been there many times, and we can help you. Call us today. We'd love to be your realtor. 225-298-6900. Thank you.